within the country. And there are collapsed buildings and roads ahead the rescue efforts after an earthquake in Japan. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Soludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Yanomba State economy and promotion of coable values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. Details of the news, I am Priska Wonko. The Governor of Yanomba State, Professor Chukuma Soludo, says strategic partnerships between governments, the private sector, and the communities can transform the state if properly harnessed. Governor Saludo stated this when he commissioned a 500-meter road project constructed in Umweri, Anambra is the Kugaman area, built by Chief Joseph Hart Umwalo, an indigene of the community. Details of the story from here. The governor explained that the state government does not have enough resources to confront developmental needs of the state, but can leverage on such partnerships to attract and gather resources for the good of Ndianambra and lauded Chief Onwalo for such project which lays credence to the benefit of private-public partnership in engendering development. While calling on Ndianambra to key into the partnership opportunity offered by his administration and the invest in the state, the governor emphasized that the PCPP model of development is key to unlocking Anambra's developmental potential, expressing optimism that the state will be better off in 2024. The only strategy I get, it was the Anambra, we buy the North BPCP, public, private, community partnership. But they have a public, private, community. Because the entire resources that are available to, um, Anam uh, to the government, I draw more than 2% of the income in the Anambra. The other 98% are in private hands. And therefore, without the people themselves and the communities in concert with the government, the man who does go for that, he can see, he can get that. 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 I now call on private individuals when it means. And I was on Sunday when me, so Sunday on the well obi, a jelego, but to be a jabatego teacher, or be a jelie teacher. And so we keep going from community to community, you know, to celebrate our champions. Because on ya, but I live away for now money, and because if I on ya, on ya little no no zone over. But yeah, five people live on ya little no no zone over. Uh, on his part, the traditional ruler of Umweri, Igwebene Mecca, said that Governor Soludo is delivering democracy dividends to Ndianambra and deserves all the support and thanked the governor for his efforts, urging him to continue to persevere. The Commissioner for Works, Engineer Fanyo Koma, his power and water resources counterpart, Engineer Julius Chukwe Mecca, member representing Anambra East at the Status of Assembly, Honorable Lobinweke, the Transition Committee Chairman for Anambra East Council Area, Dr. Anselm Onora, among others, attended the event. Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Saludo has commissioned the male dormitory at Community High School, Akweze, and Ocher Council Area, built by Chief Ikina Okafo through the Idi Ezani Nzakwabo Foundation. After commissioning the dormitory that has four big halls with toilets and bathroom, electrical fittings and sleeping bunk, the foundation stone was also laid for an administrative block and security posts within the same school. Kenechuku Chukudi has the details. Governor Soludo, represented by his Chief of Staff, Mr. Enes Ezajuhi, commended Chief Okafo for giving back to the society through scholarships to the indigent, healthcare provision, and helping the needy in Akweze, describing it as exemplary act worthy of emulation. Governor Soludo called on well-to-do Indianambra to adopt schools, build community roads, and host of other infrastructure that will benefit members of the community, just as Chief Okafo did in Akweze community. So it's an encouragement to him, and not only to encourage him, also to encourage Ndanambara. This is purely an example to emulate. In your different communities as Ndanambara, let's emulate what uh, Ide Apeze, 
is doing in uh, Akweza. In his remark at the event, the host Chief Okafo, who promised to keep doing more to help and uplift humanity like his late father did, explained that his gestures are not for Akweze indigents alone, but also for other residents in the community, adding that he is making frantic efforts to ensure that community high school Akweze becomes of best international standard. <laughs> In their goodwill messages, the Transition Committee Chairman for an local government area, Mr. Gerard Ozo, the President General of Akweze, Professor Ignatius Madoka, commended Chief Okafo for building structures for community high school Akweze at record time, supporting community leadership and the needy. The principal of the school, Mrs. Antonia Ezeji, noted that the dormitory will add value to academic activities in the school as it will contain about 200 male students, thanking the foundation for its interventions in the school. Accommodates uh, a lot of them that want to live in order to acquire more knowledge. So when God has given you something, share it to others. It's been donating anywhere, any place. The event, which later featured Holy Mass, officiated by the Bishop of Ekulobe Diocese, His Eminence, Peter Cardinal Obaleke, with the Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Polinus Ezokafo, Bishop of Newi Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Jonas Benson Okoye, numerous priests, Apuga National Chairman, Barista Sly, Eze Okinwa, and other personalities in attendance. From Akweze, it's been Kenechuku Tukwodi for EBS News. celebration for the people of Omoho community in Orimba North local government area as our indigenous are home and in diaspora gathered for the second of other festival of the traditional ruler Iguerafa of four. The Father Festival featured the confinement of chieftaincy titles by the traditional ruler and some deserving sons of the town, among whom were Dr. Chika Okoli, Sir Anthony Nweke, Cosmos Okeke, Engineer Emeka Okafo, and the Chief Medical Director of Namdi Azikiwe University Teaching Hospital, Newi, Professor Joseph Mwaja, who were recognized for their contributions towards promoting peace and development of the community. Details of this report from here. The event was kicked off with a holy mass at St. Pius Catholic Church, Omaha, officiated by Reverend Father Henry Odwenyi, among other creeds. The Catholic Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Polinus Ezokafo, thanked God for Igor Four of Omaha and prayed God to give him more years in good health. Igbo Ofo, while performing the Kulanot rituals, said the Ofala festival is a time to appreciate God for the gift of life, especially as regards his reign, which has witnessed profound peace and prosperity on his subjects. He prayed for Governor Chuku Masoludu and Indianambra and assured him of the unalloyed support of the people of Omoho. <laughs> The President General of Omaha Patriotic Union, Mr. Chibuzo Anyanechi, and Mrs. Rose Wankwo, while congratulating the chieftaincy title recipients, described Igwe Ofo as a blessing to the community. Responding on behalf of other chieftaincy recipients, Dr. Okoli and Sir Anthony appreciated the traditional ruler and the community for their show of love and advised youths of the community to imbibe the virtues of love, sacrifice, and patience throughout their journey in life. Dr. Okoli, who received the chieftaincy title of Wachine Mereze, explained that he took the name because of his humble beginnings and how far God brought him to contribute to the development of the community. <laughs> Non, il y a 
In his remarks, the son of the traditional ruler, Prince Chooks of War, extolled the generosity of his father. Paying of homage by members of Knights of St. Morumba, friends and well-wishers, and dancing of Ufio music by traditional ruler, flanked by members of his cabinet and chieftaincy title recipients, form the high points of the festival. From Omoho, Chibuzo BDK, ABS News. The need for the people to think home and contribute towards the development of their community from the cross of the first edition of Izumeri 2023 mass return. Obiezumeri Palace in Orifite, Ekusigo Council area was filled to capacity during the community's mass return. As sons and daughters of the community from all parts of Nigeria and other countries gathered, spent time together and exchanged views towards the progress of their community and their peaceful coexistence. Staff reporter Gachuku Orano has the details. <laughs> In an address, the president of Esumeri Progressive Union, Chief Obiora Ofo, the first edition of Esumeri General Return for over 10 years, was a clarion call to his brothers and sisters to come home and develop their land because it is their final place of settlement, pointing out that the challenges facing them borders on security, infrastructural development and skill acquisition center for their youths who are not gainfully employed expressed joy for the massive turnout of his people. We are intending to develop so many things. Let's our home. Some notable sons of the community, Chief Chuk's mom and son, Chief Namdi Ofieli, Reverend Chuk's Ibanugo, President General of Arifita Improvement Union, Savin Dike spoke on the positive impact of mass return, urged people to add value to their community. As far as Orif is concerned, in security, we pray that if you see something, say something. For our youth, we are asking that you don't engage in illegal things, but as much as possible, try to add value to the society that you live in. Obi and Sumeri Chief Michael Oba during the event conferred chieftaincy title to some worthy sons of the community, including the president of Esumeri Progressive Union Chief Obiora Ofo, Sir Chima Ofeli, a one-time managing director of ABS, Sir Ose Luka Ofo, among others. Speaking to the ABS, one of the chieftaincy recipients, Sir Ose Luka Ofo, who expressed gratitude to his community for the honor, noted that the recognition was anchored on his uncommon services to his people. Our people have, have started appreciating, you know, the worth of that particular title. It's not a joke, right? It's a heavy burden, but there's somebody has to shoulder it. The Esme Remas Return was nostalgic for some elderly persons in the community, like Mr. Isaac Getonero, Mrs. Jesse Iloduba, who said that their children came home after a very long time, which also gave them opportunity to see and interact with Esmeri indigenous who they have not seen for years. Various masquerade display and women presentation featured during the event. The people of Amakwa Zobolo in Ekusigo local government area recently celebrated their daughter, Dr. Ugo Chimwizu, who has brought laurels to the community through academic excellence. The celebration, which commenced with a Thanksgiving Holy Mass held at St. Michael's Catholic Church, Amakwa, also featured a royal reception organized in her honor at Iwe Ozobolo's palace, Iwe Fidelis Oruche. Staff reporter Mengini Osalibi will cover the celebration reports that event attracted dignitaries from all walks of life. Her reports. Dr. Ms. Ugo Chimizu, who is the third child of her father, Chief Kenneth Wizu, studied medicine at the University of Nigeria and Suka and came out as the best graduating student with over 15 academic excellence awards from the Faculty of Medicine. Earlier in his homily during the Holy Thanksgiving Mass, 
the Episcopal Vicar Ozoblu Region and the Parish Priest St. Michael Catholic Church Ozoblu, Reverend Father Hygienus Ayolo, who spoke on the Feast of Holy Family, admonished Christian fathers and mothers to emulate the Holy Family of Jesus Christ, who despite their travails and trials, they were still united while urging children to obey their parents just like Jesus. Reverend Father Ayolo stressed on the importance of thanksgiving in the lives of Christians, elogizing the academic excellence of Dr. Wizu, whom he described as a humble and hardworking girl who has shown that hard work pays and urged other youths to emulate her. We are celebrating her. Our whole of we are celebrating her. But to encourage other younger people, Kahama not be possible. But Kahama is not be possible. But Kahama is not be possible. They want it easy way. No Speaking to the ABS an interview during the royal reception, her father, Chief Kenneth Mizu, said her success was as a result of hard work, saying that his daughter is an easygoing child who is humble and committed to things of God. Uh, from childhood. The host of the royal reception and the traditional ruler of Ozobo, Igwe Fidelis Oruche, applauded the unique intellectual ability of Dr. Ugochi, hence the community decided to celebrate her in his palace so as to motivate other Ozobu children for them to take their academics seriously and as well make them know that hard work pays, saying that Dr. Ugochi Muizu has made them proud. On their part, the owner of Ozobu, Ichi Enobot Mbeibu and Orabu Sajud Mbeibu, said they have come to thank God and celebrate Dr. Ugochi's hard work and success with the aim of telling other youths who are still in school and those who are yet to gain admission that there is a reward for hard work, advising Ms. Ugochi to work for humanity. Other guests who spoke to the ABS include Mrs. Joy Mbebu, Chief Austin Walker, Sabat Mwakili, and Honorable Aloysius Anibogu, said that Ugochi Mizu has made them proud, adding that with so many awards that she bagged, the sky will be her starting point while calling on other students to emulate her hard work. The chief celebrant, Dr. Mizu, expressed joy and gratitude to God and same to Zublo community for celebrating her despite the challenges she encountered while studying, attributing her success to perseverance and determination and promised to keep making her community and family proud. Okay, I feel very grateful. I feel so delighted. I'm thankful to everyone who has recognized me in one way or another. I'm really grateful and all I can say is I bless God that this day was made possible and thank you to everyone. Nigeria's National Universities Commission announced their ban in a statement published on its website on Tuesday, citing an undercover investigation conducted by Umar Awudu, who bagged a degree in mass communication from ESGT, a banner university in Kotonou within six weeks, and participated in the mandatory one-year scheme organized by the National Youth Service Corps. The Nigeria Regulatory Body for Higher Education explained that the federal government had not licensed the affected universities and they had been closed down for violating the country's education standards. The affected universities span three countries, five from the United States, six from the United Kingdom and three from Ghana. Chief John Paul Eisenwaka has been elected as the new President General of Agulaisa Chuku in Agwatalika government area of Anambra State. Chief Eisenwaka pulled a total of 513 votes. Correspondent Ogochukwo Rano has the details. 
The election conducted by Mr. Estelbe to be who the community appointed to be the returning officer saw the election of Mr. Uche Chiadi as the first vice president after pulling 640 votes and Mr. Ejike Okoye emerged second vice president with 504 votes. Secret ballot system of voting was used to elect the president general and his vice presidents while open ballot was used for the office of provost and director of social. Mr. Uche Naukeke was elected the chief provost with 228 votes, while Mr. Chekube Ifedibo was elected the assistant provost with 102 votes. Mr. Emeka Okeke was elected director of social with 395 votes. However, Uchenna Ezemezo was returned as the general secretary. Reverend Kanon Sunday Ike returned as treasurer. Reverend Chidi Onigwe returned as the financial secretary and Mr. Kinsley Okonkwo returned as the assistant secretary after they emerged unopposed. Addressing the jubilant crowd, the new president general of Agule Zechuku Improvement Union, Chief Ezenwaka thanked God for restoring peace in the community, noting that his people have spoken with one voice through the election and reminded them that the development of Agule Zechuku is a collective responsibility. I thank God today our people came out in numbers and spoke their mind. They have employed us to serve this community. The development of this community is our collective responsibility. The immediate past president general of the community, Chief Anthony Obiago, who expressed satisfaction with the outcome of the election, advised the new town executives to work with humility, transparency, and to see themselves as servants of the community for them to achieve success. Humility, honesty, transparency. succeed. People are like angry people. In separate reactions, Mr. Talbot to be thanked his community for giving him the opportunity to serve, called for unity of purpose among them. Others who spoke, including Chief Tony Ebelendo, Martin Sokoye, Professor Godwin Okong, among others, all look forward to a sustainable peace and progress in Agula Ezechuku. There was heavy presence of security personnel and presentation of certificates to the winners of the election observed by delegates from Anambra State Ministry of Local Government, Chieftaincy and Community Affairs at St. Peter's Catholic Church Field, Agula Ezechuku, venue of the election. We have witnessed a peaceful process of Ochuku Orano for ABS News. Rescue efforts continue in Japan after at least 64 people were killed in a powerful earthquake that hit the country on New Year's Day. Homes collapsed buildings, caught fire and roads were extensively damaged, hindering the work of rescue services. The epicenter of the 7.6 quake was the Noto Peninsula in central Japan. The Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said that emergency services were locked in a race against time to rescue survivors. Remember, you can follow news and programs on EBS on many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Orca. Follow on X at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. Send the news this evening, a recap of the main points. Governor Saluder has called for public-private partnerships and infrastructure developments. Governor Saluder has commissioned Mill Dormitory in Alpeze. Federal government has banned 18 foreign universities from operating within the country. Collapsed buildings and roads are hindered as rescue efforts after earthquake in Japan. To end the news, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of credible values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. 
the NC Evening News at this time on ABS Television. I am Priska Wonko. Good evening. Have a wonderful night rest.